us a little bit about the mission of St. John's University. Yes, uh, St. John's University has an outstanding mission. You know, it's over 145 years old, founded by the Vincentian Fathers, and our mission is to serve the underserved. Many of the graduates from St. John's University are first-generation college graduates, and we're very proud of that. We have a large uh, high-need population, but we have a very large, diverse population of students, and we are extremely proud of that, that we reach so many different places in this country and in the world. And you yourself are an alumni of St. John's University. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. uh, long time ago, a double alumnus. My undergraduate and one of my graduate degrees is from St. John's, and then I have another one from somewhere else. For the first time in our history, we have a lay president, Dr. Conrado Bobby Gempesor, who joined us last year. And it's really, he's driving a lot of innovation, a lot of success. And yesterday he gave an important uh, speech to our university community, a uh, state of the university address. And he talked about how we're doing with enrollment and a number of other initiatives. And we had a uh, live audience of close to 900 uh, folks. And we also live streamed it and it was close to a thousand folks on live stream. So what kind of changes is he looking to make? One of the major initiatives that the president has driven since he joined us last year is to bring together the entire university community, students, faculty, administrators, and alumni to help define the strategic priorities of the university. As a result of the effort of the Strategic Priorities Working Group, we've identified four strategic priorities that we will be driving this year. First one is student success. Second one is the teaching and learning environment. Third one has to do with hiring and retaining the best and brightest of faculty, administrators, and students. And the fourth one is to establish global partnerships for the university. Any changes that he's looking to make um, as it relates to technology for the university? Absolutely. The president has, since he has joined the university, emphasize the role of technology, again, both in teaching and administration. So on the, the teaching side, he's looking at our classroom technology. He's really empowered us to help enhance our classroom technologies to meet today's uh, pedagogical needs. And so we're actively working on that right now to really upgrade a number of our classrooms. We have goals in that area that we're going to upgrade over 25 percent of our classrooms. Um, to meet these needs. We've also looked at a number of administrative processes that we are driving forward. And again, in those processes, a key element is to use the data for decision making. And so those are some of the major technology initiatives that we're driving.